Hey, what's up guys? Today I'll be doing a review on the Hit and Move Turtle Punch Mitts. So check it out. Hey guys, Carlo here. Today I'm doing a review on the Hit and Move Turtle Punch Mitts. These retail for $289 and are sold as a pair on the Hit and Move website. They're made of full, genuine leather construction. They're designed here in the United States and are manufactured in Pakistan. From a dimension standpoint, they're about sack. Sac hey guys, Carlo here. Today I'm doing a review on the Hit and Move Turtle Punch Mitts. These retail for $289 and are sold as a pair on the Hit and Move website. They're made of full, genuine leather construction. They're designed here in the United States and are manufactured in Pakistan. From a dimension standpoint, they're about six and a half inches across horizontally, about eight inches in height. It uses a firm density foam padding on the inside that breaks in really nicely the more you use it. And it's about two inches in thickness all the way through. And that breaks in really nicely retains its, its firmness, but it also gets a little bit on the softer side the more that you use these mitts. On the back side, you do have that turtle shell padding on the back of your hand. It does have varying thicknesses. Some of the smaller pads are about a half inch in thickness, and then you have this really thick center pad that is about one inch in thickness, and the padding on the back is very firm as well and nice and protective. Now. The first thing that you'll notice and that is very unique about these mitts is going to be the turtle design. It's, you know, goes without saying, you see it right there, you do have that turtle shell design and that's kind of where they came up with the idea and the concept for these mitts. And for from a technical standpoint, these are basically a double-sided mitt. Now there's other companies that have done their version of a double-sided mitt. I did a review on Versa mitts years ago, really nice mitt. Uh, where it's kind of a double-sided air mitt, uh, but the Versa mitts are very large and kind of clunky. They're not compact uh, and they work very well, but again, it's really subjective. It just depends on the coach and who's using the mitts on if they prefer that larger size. Um, where this is a double-sided mitt, but it has a little bit more of a compact feel. Now, in terms of sizing, I say that these mitts are pretty average size. They're not like overly large air mitts and they're not that very like shield shaped mitt where it's very, very large. You see from like title boxing, ringside has some as well. Um, and they're not micro mitts either. They're not really small and they don't feel like they really, you have to have really small hands for your hands to fit into them. I'd say they're pretty average size. So, you know, depending on the size of your hands, if you're a larger individual or you have smaller hands, I think these mitts would be pretty accommodating for people of uh, various size of hands, uh, which is a good thing. So you do have that padding on, on the back side. We'll talk, we'll talk about the, the, how useful this is here in a second and what this is really made for when it comes to the coaching, as the coaching aspect as well as the protective aspect for the coaches long term. So we'll discuss that here in a second. So you do have that full genuine leather. Um, you'll notice that it has that recessed padding. You see a lot of that with mitts. Oftentimes there's like an air pocket in this case this is not really an air pocket. It's not hollow on the inside. It is a firm piece of foam padding, but that basically acts as a target. So uh, whoever is hitting these mitts has something to aim for and go down right in the center. And then you have kind of this outside lip that goes all the way through. It's a little bit thicker at the bottom. And again, the foam on here is, is pretty firm at first, and then it breaks in nicely. It's not ultra soft, but you get a, a, a nice amount of pop and feedback um, I've had these mitts for months now, and for much of that time, my coach Tommy, uh, the, you know, the boxing coach that you see me do mitt work in, in, in a lot of my videos, he was actually using these for months uh, for his clients. So he has clients, some people are just doing boxing for fitness, some of his guys are amateur fighters, he even trains a lot of guys that are in professional sports like the NFL, Major League Baseball. So, you know, even though they might have not have the best technique, they still have power. Uh, and he used these mitts with them and they've actually held up really well. I think the only area that he had a concern with from a quality standpoint was you can see this lace end is kind of starting to fray a little bit uh, from him using these over time. So it'd be nice to maybe somehow come up with a better solution for the laces at the bottom uh, of the mitt. But other than that, they've held up well. I mean, you can see 
the the logo starting to fade, but you expect that. I mean, anytime a, a logo is printed on a piece of equipment, if it's gonna come in contact, you know, all the time, obviously someone's punching this, it's eventually gonna wear off. That's just kind of the nature of it. Um, and you can also see on that side, there's a little bit of wear. It says turtle by hit and move and it has their logo. Um, it does have a slight curve to the punch mitt, so it's not a flat mitt and it's not ultra curved. It does have a slight curvature to it to kind of put your hand at a little bit more of a natural curved position, not completely upright and flat like that and not too curved over. It does have a slight curvature to it. Um, coming down here, you do have the laces and that's where the actual foam piece is inserted through. A nice, another nice feature which I really like and I think all mitts should have is you do have this nice little wrist pad, wrist rest. Uh, that's about an inch in thickness and it's pretty soft and comfortable. You do also have that synthetic mesh at the bottom for the breathability, but it does say hit move right there. Um, and then you have the hand compartment that you slide into. The actual hand compartment uses a synthetic uh, mesh material too, which I really like because once your hands start getting really sweaty, <clears throat> this mesh actually does a good job uh, of kind of dispersing the moisture on the inside, especially on the palm side where your hands are gonna get really sweaty. Uh, you slide your hand into the mitt. It does have a really nice pronounced palm ball. Uh, again, another feature I think all mitts should have is a, a, a palm ball so that you have something to kind of grip onto uh, when you're holding the mitts, especially if you're holding mitts for somebody that has good power uh, and they're really, they're really laying a lot of power into your hands. You want something to kind of grip your hands into. Uh, the depth of the finger compartment is pretty, is, is perfect. It doesn't feel like the mitt chokes out towards this top portion, the top region of the hand compartment. Uh, and once it breaks in, I feel that it's very comfortable uh, on the inside. It does not come with an adjustable Velcro strap on the back of the wrist. Uh, and I really honestly don't really think it needs that. I think that it, it held on uh, pretty nicely for what it is. Um, one thing I also wanted to mention is that both mitts are, are identical, meaning that they're, they're non-handed. You don't have one that's specifically for the left hand or for the right hand, they're identical mitts, which means that you can lay these on the edge of the boxing ring, you can put them on top of the table or something, and you can pick them up and just put them on. You don't have to figure out, okay, is this for my left and is this for my right? So uh, the mitts are identical and, and are ambidextrous, so it doesn't really matter which side you have on. They're exactly the same. And then on the back of the mitt, you have that turtle shell pattern. Um, the middle piece right here, this middle pad is the thickest. It's about an inch in thickness. It's very firm. And then you have kind of like these little outli outliers of padding. That one's about an inch in thickness as well. I'd say this outer one is, and these ones right here, these four right here, a little bit smaller, maybe about a half inch. Um, and that's what gives you protection on the back of your hand. And that's kind of the whole concept behind it is you get protection to protect the smaller bones in your hands. And the most important thing is for coaches that use mitts, that use single-sided mitts, conventional mitts that don't have padding on the back. Oftentimes when they're working, uh, shots to the body. It's mainly body work that you see this with. You know, if they want a shot to the solar plexus, oftentimes they have to kind of twist their hand and do one of those little hand twist things, which puts their forearm, their wrist, and their shoulder in a compromised position. Anytime you, you do any type of twisting motion, you're kind of compromising. And then add the fact that someone's gonna be punching you with a lot of force. And at the same time, on that same notion, oftentimes if they know, if your boxer knows that you're kind of compromised, they'll let off the gas a little bit. Meaning that if they know that your hand is twisted or if you're doing one of these, or if you're kind of bringing your hand over and doing that, they'll, they'll still dig in with the shot, but they'll kind of let off the gas and won't hit you as hard because they know they don't want to, they don't want to hurt you or put you in a compromised position with your, with your arm and your wrist. So that is also another thing is that they kind of let off the gas because they know that you're kind of at a weird angle with your mitts. So that's the whole purpose of having the padding on the back. So say if I want to get punched in the solar plexus, you know, we're doing, you know, we're say we're doing a, a one, two, and then a straight right to the solar plexus. I don't have to rotate my wrists to get in position for him to strike that. I can stay right here. Now my arm, my wrist, my hand, everything is in perfect alignment and there's no stress on my, on my shoulder. You know, coaches over the years, you see coaches that have been in boxing for decades, you know, guys like Freddie Roach, uh, Nacho Verstein, the guys like that, the older, the older coaches, you know, they've held mitts for such a long time that over time they've gotten injuries, especially to their shoulders, their arms, you know, tennis, elbow, 
Um, so, you know, you want to be able to prolong, uh, prolong that uh, and not be able to, to not, you know, sustain any type of coaching injuries because you've been holding mitts for such a long time. So oftentimes they'll end up going to using paddles or, or sticks rather than using the mitts because of how much force they're taking when they're, when they're holding the mitts for their, for their boxers. So it prevents you from putting yourself in weird positions. Same thing with like, you know, a hook to the body, uh, a hook to the liver. Sometimes you'll see them kind of rotate, put their hand here, they'll kind of do one of those. They'll even do the behind the back one. You see Floyd Mayweather Sr. do the kind of the behind the back thing where they, they go and they come back. All you have to do with these now is you just basically put the hand right across your belly as a coach and they hit the target. Same thing on this side, you could do that, you could do this. You could basically just put your hands flat across. So not only are you putting yourself not in a precarious position with your, your wrist, your forearms and your, your shoulders, um, it also is quicker. So you can essentially go boom, boom and then come down here instead of having to go boom, boom and then kind of do one of those where you twist and kind of rotate your hands. So to me, that's the biggest benefit of these mitts. And it actually does feel really good. So, you know, some of the striking to the back of your hand, your hands are in there. This really thick one inch padding that is very dense actually does a really good job of absorbing shock. Now, if you're gonna ask, is it the same as a body protector? No, it's not gonna be the same as if you have a, a body protector on that's very thick that has air pockets in it and you're just taking shots, you know, maybe you do like six round uh, of just body work and your guys are digging in shots left and right. I would still recommend if you're gonna do that level of, of body work with your coach and, and you're gonna be putting all your power into it, then a body protector to me still is the way to go. But this is a great supplement to that. So if you don't have a body protector and you wanna work on some quick combinations, bang, and he wants to go to the body, you don't have to be too concerned with hurting the, your, your hands or putting yourself in a weird position uh, with these mitts. So I definitely like um, that feature and the whole purpose behind it. Um, it does come in this all black with gold colorway. I think it would be cool if maybe they came out with some other colors just to kind of give you some variety uh, when it comes to the mitts. Um, the big hang up I have with these is, is the price. Now these are $289, which is expensive for a pair of mitts. Now granted, they do have the protective double-sided design with this turtle shell. So I, I do understand the idea behind that. The problem I have is, you know, when you look online and you look at some other brands and other mitts, you know, generally speaking mitts, some of the better ones are anywhere between like 100 to $150, right? Um, you know, the more entry level ones, you can find some entry level mitts for 50 to 75 bucks uh, on average leather mitts, you know, title boxing, ring side rival, you know, you, you know the names, right? So at, at the price of uh, 289, I mean, you're looking at almost $300. The issue is, <clears throat> is, is our coaches going to be willing to go that, to pay that extra amount just to get your, themselves a little bit of extra protection? Or are they just gonna be like, you know, I'm still good with the mints I have. If I do any type of body work, I'll just put a body pad on. Or I'm willing to put myself in that kind of position to where I have my hand at an angle, it hasn't bothered me. I'm cool with that. I don't really need that double-sided portion. So I think that really narrows down who is going to want to fork out $289 for a pair of boxing mitts. And again, I'm not saying that, that this is a really nice product. I think the design is awesome. I just think the pricing needs to be a little bit more competitive um, for it to be a, a, a more recognized pair of boxing mitts. Now, not, again, not to say that these are not great options as mitts, I just think the price when you look at somebody that has that budget, they're gonna be like, you know what, I'm gonna pay $100 and get some standard mitts that I like, and then I'm gonna spend the, 100, the extra $189 and get a body pad and just wear that for body work all the time. So, you know, you have to kind of account for all of those things. So because of that, I definitely think they're a little overpriced. You know, around the 200 mark, I think would be definitely more reasonable and some a lot more people will consider it uh, based on that, that technology, but you know, as currently stands, there's other brands that do a version of a double-sided mitt, not like the turtle design, obviously, but they do have padding on the back. So it really just boils down to, am I willing to pay that much? And is it that important to me to have the padding on the back to fork out that amount of money? And, and for me, I wouldn't say it would be just because I feel that there's other options out there that I would rather spend my $289 on 
But again, I'm just kind of telling, try to tell it how it is from my own perspective. It may, you may or may not agree with that, but that's how I kind of feel. But at the $200 range, you know, if I'm like 150 in, 160 with some rival mitts that don't have that feature, I'll be like, you know what, I hate, as a coach, I hate putting my hands like that and I hate having to do the beat behind the back. And you know, the guys I'm training, are, they punch hard as hell and you know, my hands are getting beat up, then I would probably consider these for sure. So, so if you guys have any questions or comments, as usual, put them down below. I'll put the link in the description box on where you can find these hidden turtle punch mitts. And I'll see you guys later. Take care.